Hey everyone! Do you have a hard time remembering the things you just read in your anatomy textbook? Don't worry, you're not alone. You're just not using the right reading technique. So today I'm going to show you how to read more efficiently and actually retain what you're learning, all based on science-backed techniques and the SQ3R method. Let's get into it. What's wrong with how we usually read? Think about it like this. If you're watching a lecture on double speed while scrolling on your phone, will you be able to remember the things your professor said? Probably not. And if you're treating studying like a passive activity, nothing's gonna stick. Just reading a text with only looking at the words from top to bottom while thinking about a hundred different things will not help you remember them. And there are a few common mistakes we all make while reading. First, superficial reading is just skimming without actually connecting ideas. Then, treating every text the same. Reading an anatomy book the same way you'd read a romance novel. And finally, highlighting everything. Like turning your textbook page into a rainbow. I know, at first everything seems super important, but if everything is highlighted, nothing stands out. So, now that we know what's not working, what does effective reading actually look like? It's active, it's intentional. You preview the material, ask questions, focus on key points, and constantly check if you actually understand what you're reading. A good reader is like a detective. They scan the chapter and look for clues like headings and bold words. Then they ask, what is this trying to tell me? They also make connections with what they already know, adapt their reading style to the text, and keep thinking about the material even after they close the book. One super practical strategy to become the Sherlock Holmes of reading is the SQ3R method. It's a five-step process and trust me, it's a game changer for studying anatomy. So let's break it down. Step one, survey. Start by skimming the chapter. Look at the structure. Headings, subheadings, diagrams, bold words. What sticks out? What are you going to read? You want to have a roadmap of what's coming. For example, if you're about to study the heart, glance at the main sections. Chambers, valves, blood flow. You get the idea. Step two. Question. Now that you know what to expect, turn those headings into questions. What do you want to know by the end of the chapter? Instead of just reading hard valves, ask yourself, what are the hard valves and what do they do? This sets a purpose for reading and makes your brain more alert. Step three, read. Finally, read, but do it in small chunks, maybe one or two pages at a time. Try to answer the questions you came up with. And if you highlight, do it sparingly. Highlight ideas, not full sentences. For example, instead of highlighting the mitral valve separates the left atrium and left ventricle, just highlight mitral valve, left atrium, left ventricle. Just remember, do not make a rainbow. Step four, recite. Close the book and explain what you just read. Out loud or in your head, use your own words. If you can't do it, go back and read the parts that you didn't get again. You can use the 210 method. Give yourself a two if you remembered most of it. One if you kind of got it and zero if it didn't stick. Then go back and review that part. Step five, review. Keep coming back to the material over time. Revisit your notes and answer your own questions again. Use tools like quizzes or fill in the black worksheets to actively recall the information. And that's it. If you stick to these tricks, you will become an anatomy expert. Now let's recap. Reading isn't just about turning pages. It's about actively working with the material. Try to avoid reading passively and do not create a rainbow with your highlighting. Instead, try the SQ3R method. Survey, question, read, recite, review. Make reading part of your active learning routine. Your time is valuable, especially when you're studying anatomy. So make every reading session count. If you found this helpful, you will love the quizzes on CanHub. There you can also find our atlas and articles that are built for easy reading and visualization. We have linked a lot of things down below that will also help you with your studies. So don't be shy, check it out and see you in the next video.